Hey, welcome back. Sorry about that. I had a phone call from somebody. So, um... Things I've done off-camera while I was on the phone, actually. Drink water first. I have my power hooked up. I went ahead and made these guys. Just had to make the clay up real quick, fire it in the kiln, or the furnace, you know. I've got all three water mills going here now. And that is more than enough power to keep this little lady happy inside the box. So I've been sifting a bunch of sand, which I made up quite a bit of sand off camera. I've got more here. Uh, I've got two stacks left, though. So I'm going to have to do more up soon, I think. Damn. All right, recipe. Craft it, hammer it, and hammer it. Okay, yeah, there's... I was kind of sort of hoping for... Uh... Get you in there. Um... A way to automate it with machineries besides the automatic hammers, but it doesn't look like it's the thing that can happen. I've been feeding a bunch of these resources through here, so I got a lot more ingots. I finally gave this thing a hopper, and it's filling back up with lava. I made all the netherrack needed for my blast furnace. And because I can, it's going to go right here. Go. And let's just grab this out of here, I guess. I mean, it's free copper. So that, um, there's my torch. Thank you. And so I completed most of the crafting. I got 26 of them here. So I got the resources needed for the last two. Really only need 27, but, uh, yeah, they, they come in pairs of two when you make them. So you gotta make 28 of them. And I did make an inner chest. This was actually a while ago off camera. While I was doing the, uh, I was heading into the nether fortress anyway. So I brought one with me. I had to break it there to get the obsidian back anyway. So I lost the eye of ender because I don't have silk touch. I didn't, I didn't have silk touch, put it that way. I have silk touch, I didn't bring it with though. And we have our crude blast furnace now from immersive engineering. Whoop. Long book. Nine quests done. I've been playing around with Patani a bit while I was waiting for things. So, first steel blast furnace bricks will get us one, which I don't, or I don't know how many that's going to get me, but uh, either block of steel or block of coal coke. I will take the steel. And I have enough blast bricks to make another furnace. Cool. It's a good thing, because I have a feeling I'm going to need a lot of these. I get a good reward bag, and it is a simple single block of steel. So I got nine more steel ingots here. It's a good start. That is actually a really good start. And I got the wool quest again. Uh, which box did I put that in now? Was it this one? No. Oh, it was in here. And I went ahead and made this a double chest. For now. Well, let's see. It opens up combustion generator. Zombie generator which I need a slice and spice for. Sterling, ah, yes, sterling power. Now we get me a fluid tank and another sterling generator. Cool, I just need one of those? All right. Water wheel, water well. Three of them, I made all three. Gives me another kinetic dynamo and I'm gonna choose the one on the right for the reward bag. It is a greater bag. No crap, no crap. Oh, fuck me. Eight of each carpet. Oh god, that just filled up that chest. Is there any uses for these? Uh, Rune of Air. And I can paint it in the painting machine. Oh, that's kind of cool. I might take advantage of that. Are you still turning away? I made up a bunch of melon juice to feed the uh, to feed my girl in the box. I should say fox glove, but you know. Girl in the box just... Kind of reminds me of an uh, old Alice in Chains song. So, man in the box. And you're just chugging away. So, cool. Uh, coal coke can go in here. And I should have enough iron here that I can... Yeah, I'll just grab like 42 of it and toss it in here. So, I'm pretty sure it's like a one-to-one -one ratio as it is right now. Maybe, but... uh, 
I don't know for certain. So, let's see. Yeah. All sorts of base setup setup. I finally put one of the TPs down. And the thing is a little bigger than I thought it would be. I, mean, I will say that. You can only sleep at night. So you can see there's a tiny little raised hitbox right there. This is flat grass. This actually says TP and it's got it's like a pressure plate thickness. That's your your sleeping spot. So plant another cherry tree. Just because I think I might actually do stuff with cherry wood. The planks are kind of nice looking. I like the color. Kind of a nice honeyish color. And are you out of food yet? Yes, you are. Get faster. Oh, you ran out of sand or dust. Which this is the last stack, so. Alright. A few things though. I made some Batania rods off camera. So let's go take a look at those first, real quick. And I got a rod of the seas now. Makes water. Uh, rod of the Puntable Mantle shows you where different ores are. Rod of the Lands makes dirt. I have a Rod of the Depths, which makes cobblestone. At the cost of mana, of course. But it's, other than that, it's free. So let's put this copper in here. So I can make all the dirt I want now. I can make all the cobblestone I want now. Make all the water I want now at just the cost of a little bit of mana. And I think that was kind of about it. I don't think I made any more rods than those. I did make some uh, different runes to make the rods, so I'm pretty sure I could put the quests there too. And I made the mortar, the pestle, and the imbuer from roots. They're all really easy to make. So, oh god, uh, we got what? Make a metal press, okay. Um, fermenter. Squeezer. Crusher. Make a windmill. And then the, the generators, okay. Alright, well, natural magic. So I have another roots quest done. Da -da. Mortar and the pestle. Gets me a reward bag, which is going to be a basic bag. Oh god, really? Advanced photovoltaic cell. That, I like that. That's actually, that's, uh, that's going in the do not, I got four of them. Okay. That is going in the never ever lose this box. Oh, and in my ender chest, I actually got a couple of bees, a couple of drones from the uh, nether. A steadfast drone and a sinister drone. So when I get into bees, that should help give me a little bit of a leg up. But I haven't even found any hives yet, so yeah. But I've got the four elemental runes completed now, so I get a reward bag from doing water and a reward bag from doing fire, which they're both good bags, okay? And we're looking at blaze powder and a gas here. Not bad. Conveyor belts times eight. Oh, wait, that's eight gas tiers and eight more blaze powder. Cool. I, I like that. That is handy. So where did I put my gas tiers at? Is it in here? No, that's where the conveyor belt's going to go. Ah, uh, about in here. There we go. And more white carpets. All right, great. <clears throat> ah, excuse me. There we go. So, a uh, lot of the plentiful mantle. Gets me a reward bag of good quality. All right. Oh, all the purple stuff. Purple slime block, congealed purple slime block. Slimy leaves, slimy ferns, tall slimy grass, purple slimy vine, purple slimy vine, and purple slime sapling. Thank you. I didn't like my inventory anyway. Only grows on slimy grass or dirt. Well, I don't have any. Dang it. How do I make it now? Uh, slimy dirt. No, no. Oh, so I can't even do this stuff? Oh, slimy grass. Here we go. Grass block and four blue slime balls. Purple slime balls. Orange slime balls, which I have to... Oh, God, really? So, I, this really is crap. I can't do anything with this stuff. Oh, I did take a bucket of that purple slime I got in the past reward, and I turned it into some night slime. I may do that with the other, what, seven liquid source blocks I have of it. All right, well, this, I don't need the grass. Don't need the fern. Don't need the leaves. 
Um, this is... <clears throat> I think this may be a way to... Uh, Purple Slime Block doesn't work with Pistons. Alright. Wait a second now. What was it? Oh, let's turn this off before I click something here. A Grass Block and four Slime Balls. Hey okay, now. I do have Purple Slime Balls. Sweet. I should have a couple Grass Blocks. There we go. Nice look touch up just for something like this. So let's put you here. What are you? Grass seeds from random things. Okay, cool. Slimy grass. So soft. Let's you jump higher. Whoops. No, don't want you going there. But I can plant my sapling, sapling now. Sweet. Um. I guess I'm gonna plant it like right about here. There we go. And we'll just wait for that thing to grow. Uh, the pig decided it wasn't that interesting, huh? Can I sleep in my teepee yet? I would like to respawn down here if I could. Ouch. There we go. And bingo. Alright. My cherries are... Kind of starting to change color a little bit. Alright. So... That's taken care of. Wad of the Seas reward bag, which is going to be a good bag. And this is more firework boxes. Lovely. Wad of the Depths. Another reward bag, okay. Good bag. And cross fingers. Smiley Cloud. From actually editions. What's the recipe for this guy? Oh, actually it, it worked first time. It is wool and solidified experience. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of cute. I thought that was a block floating there for a second. It's a light from the torch. Okay. And while the lands, give me a reward bag. And this one is also a good. Awesome. Compressed gravel, sand, and dust. How is this a crap reward? I get eight of each. I mean, that's 72 of each of these. That's that's actually... That saves me a bit of time, is what that does. So I like that. And in fact, I'm just going to do that. And then we're going to come over here. We're going to put the sand away. And we're going to put the gravel away. And we're going to feed the girl in the box. Give her some melon juice. Yeah, I think I'm doing good on resources for a bit now, though. I mean, definitely bone meal I'm doing good on. There's no spots for upgrades in these, though. And I'm not sure what happened with X asterisk or not. Uh, uses for this. I can make concrete. Ooh, that's right. Clay, slag, and gravel makes concrete. Good. The main only reason I sped her up is I get rid of that extra eight out of there. Purple slime block. I can liquefy it to two and a quarter buckets of liquid purple slime okay yeah sure um, you can go in here I guess treated wood planks uh, blast bricks um, I kind of sort of want to do something with these I don't know I'm gonna see if you grow I guess and same with you what the I just saw a couple flashes of light from up there. I'm not sure what was going on, but... Slightly weirded me out just a little bit, you know. So, let's see. Uh, Alchemy Catalyst. Probably be a good thing to get. I'm actually thinking about moving base, though. I'm gonna stay here for a bit, but I don't wanna, like, develop this area, like, too much. Ooh, I see a bat. Damn. Ooh. Another bat? Damn. Um, I think, is it actually additions that added in... Yep, the wing of the bats. So I need six bat wings, empowered diamantine crystal blocks, and an, an ender star. Which requires me to kill the wither and the dragon. I don't think actually I actually have to kill the dragon. 
I just need to bottle up some of this breath. But I'm gonna be there and it's a lot easier to get back if you have killed the stupid thing. So speaking of which though uh, Ender Crystals, right? Let's just look up crystal. I think I might, might have better luck with that. Actually, I think I just saw it. Yep, there it is. In crystal is I have ender glass and a gas tier. And I think I needed eight of those. Right? I need yeah, eight of those. And I need sixteen more eyes of enders. I need twenty-four ender pearls. Oi. Okay. Recipes. Ender pearl powder from Ender IO, block of Ender Pearl. Smelt down some dragon's eye from roots, but I need chorus fruit to get that. Uh, Elven trade, pearl to pearl. Mana infusion, gas tier to ender pearl, using the alchemy catalyst. Uh, smelt down and pulsating mesh, which comes from pulsating propolis, comes from mysterious combs, which comes from ender bees. Lovely. I'm wondering how big of a, uh, a thing, a big of a role bees are actually going to play, though. Because I haven't gotten access to any yet. Be happy. Okay, it's unlocked now. So, oh, cool. I get some hives for doing this. Carpenter, centrifuge, squeezer, and thermionic fabricator. I wonder what quest opened this up. Oh, and I can get more hives down here. Cool. See, I definitely think I want to, well, let's check here. Uh, biome Taiga, Biome River, Taiga River, okay, so Taiga Mountain now, so I can find different biomes for the bees, okay, that is good to know, that was one thing I was really curious about, I think I just threw something, yeah, I threw my quest book, let's not do that, um, so Bee Happy's unlocked, and then we got Kappa Stop here at the end though, huh, so Industrial Science, hmm, Let's look up a sterling generator real quick before the end of the episode. Uh, it's probably run a little bit long now. I didn't really pay attention to how far into it I was when I got a phone call. So, so I need some tin gears, piston, iron casing, steel plates, which I can hammer out. Or I can make a plate cast. Hmm. I can do it with tinkers too. Hmm. kind of a tough decision actually but I think I'm going to hold off on doing the generator until next time and oh my god I am getting full of resources here so much aluminum too I mean aluminum was really freaking rare up until I really got into sifting so but I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode until next time sign signing out have fun